In this video, I'm going to do a demo on how to attach GDB GUI to a running process on your machine. So the first thing we have to do is get a process running that we want to attach to. I wrote a program called Sleeper that is just a while loop that prints something, sleeps, and then repeats again, and just does that forever. So now we can try to find the process ID of that by running the ps command and grepping for the name of the program. So this is the program we ran, and the process ID is 22,538. So now we'll launch GDB GUI. When we launch GDB GUI, we actually have to do it as uh, the root user because of a kernel feature to disable attaching the processes. And that's a security feature. So this is GDB GUI. What we're going to do is select Attach to Process. Put the process ID in that we want to attach to. Click the button, and GDB, um, you can't really tell from this terminal, but what happened was GDB attached to that process and stopped it from running. So it's now paused, and we can look around in the state of the program and do whatever we want. So I'm going to go up to the main function, which is the actual code I wrote, and I'm going to put a breakpoint in and then hit continue. So now we're on line 11. And then we can go into the print function if we want and look at the instructions that are being run. We can hit continue again. It waits two seconds, and here we are again. And you can see the output still goes back to the terminal here because that's still where the process is running, but we've just attached to it. And um, that's basically it. Uh, the the program the GDB GUI still works like normal, and you can look at the disassembly. You can switch your um, assembly flavor from Intel to AT&T. You can look at uh, local variables, expressions, and uh, hover over variables. Look at memory. So that's how you attach to a process using GDB GUI. Thanks for watching.